Hold on, hold on. He always looked like this, and he had a little thing that he put on his ear. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Was very quiet, but a good minister. Okay. So, so what else? So, <coughs> what do you remember from him as a as a gram, grandpa? <coughs> he was very quiet. One Christmas, I think it was, they came down to the parsonage, mm -hmm. and they sat around and played. Maybe Bunko or something like that. Really? Yeah. And I just remember that they were there, but I don't remember anything else about them. But they ate together. What? Okay. Okay. Now, now, so does Grandpa Clinton? Does he sing? Do it. No, Grandpa didn't sing. He was deaf, and they were. He was the. Methodist pastor at Tama, Iowa. Okay, okay. So now, does May Virginia, do, is she a singer? I know she's a very big personality, yeah. right? She was interested in art. Oh, okay. And that picture that I have, or someplace, that picture of the St. Bernard upstairs in Sue's house. Yeah. She, I think that she painted that. Oh, okay. Okay, so, and May Virginia has red hair. Yeah. Okay. So, it's just so she's into art. So what kind of grandma, Grandma Clinton, your your Grandma Clinton? What kind of she what did you remember more, about her? She was more loud. She was loud. I mean, she she had a lot of fun when they would go to conference. She she would get the ladies of the husbands together, and they'd roll down. She'd say. Let's roll down that hill. <laughs> yeah. So th this is with all the other pastor's wives? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, anything else about May Virginia? Any good? I, I would think she would have some good stories, May Virginia. Huh? I, I would think May Vir you would have some good stories about your, your, your Grandma Clinton. Do you have some no. good stories about yeah. your Grandma Clinton? Yeah. Well, I really don't because we didn't get together too much. Oh. Because, so when when did they go out to California? When he retired. When he retired. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's why they went to California. Right. He retired. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's where he was walking one day. He always liked to walk. And Grandma let him go by himself, but he couldn't always hear. And one day, he fell, <clears throat> he fell off of the sidewalk, and uh, I, he must have broken something. I don't know, but uh, I don't remember much after that. But it seems to me he died because of that. That fall? Okay. Um, Last question I got, unless you got something else. I don't. Okay. If your mom or dad were still here, what would you like to ask them? What's something you wish you would have asked your mom or dad? Well, I think I always, I don't know. I think I always, we always, just asked our parents if they wanted to know. And, may, and maybe th that's because you and Granddad Clinton and Grandma Grandma Clinton were very good were good letter writers. Yeah. So you you always wrote a weekly letter to back and forth to each other, right? Right. So did that start in college then? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you'd always told me that, but Grandma Clinton would send hers on Sunday and you'd send yours on Tuesdays. I said mine. On Sunday too. Okay. And get to her on Tuesday. Tuesday okay. At Iowa Falls. Okay. And so then, when you guys are out of college and start your families, so then Grandma Clinton or who writes the letters? Grandma Clinton. What? Who wrote the letters back and forth? Was it Grandma Clinton writing to you girls? Grandma. Or was Clinton. okay? It wasn't Granddad Clinton. No. But after she's gone, then he he writes you letters then. Mm-hmm. Or what, what would he do? We just call you.
you know, when he's by himself in Des Moines and you are still up in Fayette. Did Grandpa Clinton write you letters after Grandma passed away and you were in Fayette? Well, he must have because he was a good letter writer. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure Grandpa did write you letters. Oh, really? When we were in Fayette? No. After Grandma died? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Don't you, you just don't remember that? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. okay. I just wondering, so, okay. And I just thought of another one. On that Lincoln and Tad statue, mm -hmm. on the Lincoln yeah. and Tad statue, yeah. so the story always was that um, John was the bust for Tad, right? Right. But when I've asked John about it, he says he doesn't remember posing for Mrs. Tory. He remembers posing for me. He said, you and Dad would bring him in to the stories, yeah. and, and John said he would just sit there for Mr. Tory. He right. doesn't... He doesn't remember Mabel Tory. Oh, she was there because she did the children, and and Mr. Tory did the children. See, and that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then John said that the hands for Tad were a, a neighborhood boy. I don't remember that. Okay. That's my last question. Okay. That's my Good job.